Uh, just a lot of uh, a lot of jump shots, uh, just a lot of ball handling, skill work, uh, just those type of things, and just getting stronger every day. And, uh, that's primarily what I worked on all last season, in my red shirt year, and all this summer. How how difficult was it to sit out and you know you could practice, but watching guys you know in a game and not being able to participate? Oh, it was very difficult because you know what you could do and uh, you know what you can add to the team. But you know it's a it's a humbling experience. But uh, you just got to keep uh, focus and uh, just look for look forward to the future and keep doing what you got to do. What do you see your role being for this IPFW team when you get to suit up? Uh, I'll be a scorer, a uh, guy that. Um, gets points and a guy that gets my teammates involved and let's try to make plays for my teammates and uh, just do those type of things and uh, kind of be a, more of a leader, have more of a leadership role on this team. Well, Mo will be back, uh, Conchar will be back after a great freshman season. How do you see yourself fitting in on the perimeter? I mean, will you be a point guard? Will you be handling it? Will you be a two? Like, what is kind of the, the definition for you or maybe a jack of all trades? Uh, I think it's like a jack of all trades. I think all of us have, you know, different talents. Uh, I think I'll be more of like a two guard, uh, Mo kind of at the one, Contra at the three. So uh, all of us are you know, good ball handlers and uh, can get to the basket and make plays. But, um, I'm just excited for us to blend in with each other and see what we can do. How has your game changed, if any, from what we saw during the two years at Purdue? Uh, definitely my jump shot. I, I spent a lot, hours and hours uh, working on my jump shot. So that's one thing that I'm, I'm ready to show people that I have. And, uh, my decision making is a lot better um, but I think that just comes with just playing, uh, just playing basketball and just being in game time situations. IPFW fans last year were really happy with the, the season that they had, but you kind of kept hearing in the back of your mind, people kept saying, wait, wait till Bryson Scott gets eligible, <laughs> wait till he's eligible. How do you deal with that kind of pressure or those kind of expectations? Is that something that maybe you enjoy? Oh, that's something that I enjoy. That's some, uh, those, those are the type of expectations that I, uh, you know, that I need and something that keeps me uh, working hard towards what I want to uh, achieve as far as my future. And, uh, you know, it's, it's exciting uh, that people, you know, are still thinking about me, but um, it, it's still about the team, and uh, I just want us to uh, have a good season, just as good a season last year, and hopefully we can get to the tournament. Yeah, is that one of the things people kind of talk about when you got here? It's like, well, this is a guy that maybe can help IPSW get to the tournament. Is that a lot of pressure for you? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, it, 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 it can be pressure, but I don't look at it like that. I just look at it as a goal, um, just something that's – uh, that we can possibly reach, and hopefully that we, hopefully with all the work that we're putting in, uh, hopefully we can reach that. Are, do you feel even better about your decision to go to IPFW now than you did 365 days ago? I definitely, definitely did. I mean, I definitely do now. Uh, last year, you know, when I made that decision, it was a little, uh, you know, I was, I took a little uh, risk, but I felt like, you know, they did a good job uh, handling their business with this season, and um, just, I'm just happy to be a part of this program and see where, uh, where I can go with this team and where we can go as a team. So. Uh, your brother Brett and I imagine you're pretty competitive. Yep. He's had a lot of success at Indiana State. What's it like seeing him and how uh, much do you want to kind of prove to him too mm -hmm. that you can be an excellent player on the college level? Uh, I want to prove to him. I want to prove to my family. Those are the two people, you know, two uh, main, you know, my family, my parents, my, my, my brother. Those are the people that I really want to show that I can really be a, a good player at this level. And, be a pro uh, one day, so uh, hopefully, you know, I can make that happen. A lot of back and forth between you two? A lot of back and forth. <laughs> uh, we were trying to play each other at IPFW Indiana State, but it didn't work out. <laughs> um, for you, what, what's next? Because you had the shoulder surgery, mm -hmm. um, so you had to sit out for a little while uh, in the, at the beginning of the season in the fall. Where are you physically, and uh, did that kind of change your approach where you had to kind of sit back and watch everything get done? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I had that surgery, it kind of, uh, you know, it was even more kind of, you know, uh, kind of depressing a little bit. But, you know, I worked through it, and I feel now, you know, after all the work that I put in, I'm, I'm, I'm top of my game and um, just ready to uh, show people what I can do. How hungry are you to actually put on a uniform and be able to actually get out there and play a competitive game? Oh, I'm, I'm very hungry, very hungry, more hungry than what people think. But uh, I just got to continue to remain humble and uh, just continue to work. Anything else you'd like to add? Uh, just, just can't wait for the season.